This video is brought to you by Ultium. Today I'm going to use this digital microwave sensor with Arduino for moving humans and objects detection behind the walls. This digital microwave sensor uses Doppler radar to detect moving objects using microwaves. This differs from the method used by a regular infrared sensor, ultrasonic sensor, PIR sensor, TOF10120 sensor, etc. I have used all of these sensors in beginners, intermediate and advanced level projects. I'm not saying these sensors are paid, but this microwave sensor is just at another level is the microwaves are sensitive to a variety of objects and the amazing thing is its sensor readings are not affected by ambient temperatures. So that's why this type of sensor is widely used in industrial transportation and civil applications such as measuring liquid levels automatic washing, measuring of vehicle speed, automatic door motion detection, car reversing, production line material detection, automatic lights control system, high level security systems and so on. As you know microwaves can penetrate through walls so I'm going to use this digital microwave sensor for humans and objects detection behind the walls so let's go ahead and watch this microwave sensor in action. Since I'm using this digital microwave sensor for the first time, so that's why I decided to start with a very basic project that is to control a light whenever there is any movement. This can be a straight light or a corridor light or your low lights or a light inside a room. It totally depends on your application. This microwave sensor is simply perfect for indoor and outdoor applications. PIR sensor is quite famous for motion detection but you know it fails in outdoor applications during the daytime just because of the sun's infrared light and temperature. But the infrared light and temperature has no effect on the microwave sensor. You can see it's working just perfectly. The light on time duration can be changed as per the requirement. So if you are planning of making some high level lights control system then you should definitely use this microwave sensor. Now in this next example I'm going to demonstrate how to detect moving objects or humans behind the walls. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. For this next example, I interface this OLED display module for displaying the number of interrupts generated within 3 seconds. These interrupts are only generated when there are any moving objects or humans. So a higher value means lots of movements. This microwave sensor has a distance range of 2 to 16 meters which can be adjusted using this potentiometer. So let's go ahead and fix this microwave sensor on the door and let's see if it can detect my brother. While fixing the sensor make sure the front of the sensor is towards the detection area. This is simply amazing. Now let's go ahead and check this sensor with a wall. This is pretty awesome. It has passed all the tests. 
Now you can convert this project into some high level security system by adding a GSM module and this way you will get a notification on your cell phone. You can also use this microwave sensor with ESP32 and ESP8266 and this way you can get notifications on your cell phone using IoT platforms like Blink application, ThinkSpeak, UV dots, Telegram, etc. Now I'm going to share with you the technical specifications, circuit diagrams and programming. Without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from DF Robot and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the Gravity Digital Microwave Sensor V2.0 from the DF Robot. This microwave sensor is able to detect objects without physical contact. Its readings are not affected by temperature, humidity, noise, air, dust or light which makes it suitable for harsh environments. This sensor also has strong resistance to radio frequency interference. Due to its low output, it's not harmful to the human body. Since this sensor uses microwaves, and you know microwaves have a wide detection range and velocity equal to the speed of light. This digital microwave sensor also supports non-life class object detection. Its working voltage is 5 volts. Working current is 60 milliampere maximum and 37 milliampere typical. Detection range is from 2 meters to 16 meters, which is adjustable. You can use this blue color potentiometer to set the detection range. The angle of detection is 72 degrees with the antenna in parallel direction, and the vertical direction of the antenna is 36 degrees. For other technical specifications, Read my article available on electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. The red color LED is the power LED and the yellow color LED is the signal indicator LED. The indicator LED remains off when there are no moving objects. The indicator LED will only turn on when the sensor detects a moving object. This is the antenna interface. The red wire is the 5 volt black wire is the ground and green wire is the output wire. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram of the automatic light control system using this microwave sensor. This is the circuit diagram of the automatic light control system. The output pin of the microwave sensor is connected with the digital pin D2 of the Arduino while the plus 5 volt and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground pins. On the top left side is the regulated 5 volt power supply based on the LM705 voltage regulator. J1 is the DC female power jack and this is where we connect a 12 volt adopter, battery or a solar panel. On the right side is the 12 volt relay module which is connected with the digital pin 13 of the Arduino. This relay is used to control the bulb. You can see the neutral wire is directly connected with the bulb while the Hot wire is connected with the bulb through this relay. Now let's take a look at the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download this MS Timer 2 library from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. We need this library for creating software based timers. Each and every line of code is well commented. So the purpose of this code is to detect the movement and then to turn on the relay for two seconds. If you want to turn on the bulb for more seconds then simply change this value. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram of the moving objects and humans detection behind the walls. This time I removed the relay module and added the I2C supported SSD1306 OLED display module. The SCL and SDA pins of the OLED display module are connected with the A5 and A4 pins of the Arduino. 
while the microwave sensor connected with the Arduino remains exactly the same. Now let's take a look at the programming. This is the same exact program which I modified by adding these header files for the OLED display module. This time, instead of controlling the relay, I'm simply counting the number of interrupts and then I'm printing it on the OLED display module. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.